Hi, this is Frank Buck, and this is the place to be if you want to get organized and make it look easy. How to foil the bad guys on Facebook. That's what we're talking about today. If you have a Facebook account, you've likely seen a post such as this. Don't accept a friend request from me. I've been hacked. You may have even posted this very thing. So what does hacked mean? What do we do about it? And most importantly, how can you keep it from happening? No, you don't need to change your password. Even though the most common suggestion is change your password, that doesn't fix the problem with your account because there's nothing wrong with your account. Nobody has logged into it. In fact, if somebody did somehow know your password and attempt to log in, you'd get a notification from Facebook saying that a request had been made from a new device. So let's look at the motive of the bad guy and how this person seeks to accomplish it. The bottom line for this bad actor is to get money from your friends. The person starts by creating a new Facebook account. For the name, he simply puts your name. He makes a copy of your profile picture and some of the pictures that you posted. That's easy to do. Right click on the image and choose save image as. In just a few minutes, the bad guy has a pretty good looking page. Next, the bad guy looks at your page to see who's on your friends list. He clicks on one of them and clicks add friend. He repeats that process with another one of your friends and another and another until he thinks he has a good pool of unsuspecting people. If you've ever gotten one of these requests, you know the drill. If you accept the request, the bad guy sends a Facebook message, something very generic such as, hi, how are you? If you reply, the generic pleasantries continue. Then the bad actor starts talking about a worthy charity or great opportunity and asks if you know about it. Well, of course you don't because it doesn't exist. The aim of the conversation is to get the new friend to give money, a credit card number, or some other sensitive information to the bad guy. Don't fall for the trap. Here's what to do when you get such a request. You get a request and you know you're already friends with the real person, report the fake account. Instead of accepting the request, click on the name to go to that fake page. Click the three dots on the right and choose find support or report profile. The process is easy from there and Facebook will likely take down the account within the same day. Most importantly, let's look at how to keep this from happening to you. You can do something to make yourself a less attractive target and all it has to do with are the security settings you've already chosen in your Facebook account. The bad guy is going to send requests to your friends, tricking them into being his friend, right? Well then let's not let him know who our friends are. Here's how to do it. In the upper right, click the downward pointing arrow. It's at the upper right of your Facebook page. Next, select settings and privacy. On the next screen, select settings. And then in the left column, select privacy. Now, on this next page, you're gonna be looking for who can see your friends list. Out beside that, click edit. And here's the golden goodie. If it's set to public, change it. Friends is a much better choice than only your friends will be able to see who your other friends are. If the bad guy can't see your friends, then you're no longer an attractive target and they're likely to move on. Hey, if you like this video, how about giving it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and check out these other two videos while you're there. I appreciate you stopping by today. This has been Frank Buck, helping you get organized and make it look easy.